Hey everyone, welcome back and in today's video we're going to learn how to find the focus and the directrix of any parabola. So it's the same parabola from the last video and I've labeled some points at the base. We have M and N and at the top center which will be known as the vertex is V. So the first thing we do is we connect M and N. So this is line MN. And then we wanna just draw a bisecting line, right? If you're doing it manually, you may have to construct the bisecting line, but I'm not gonna go through that at the moment. So we draw a bisecting line to cut the parabola at V, and V is the vertex. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the focus. But before we do that, I just labeled the other end of the line. So this line is V0, right? It's not an O, it's a 0. You can call it whatever you like. So the first thing we want to do is we want to draw a right-angled triangle. And one end of the triangle must be twice the length of the other. One side of the triangle must be twice the length of the other. Now let me explain further. Just allow me to allow me to label the points. So we'll call this point G and we'll call this other point C. Come on, label it. There you go. So this is this is yeah, yeah, yeah. This is C, good. So we have line VG, so VG is 150, and line GC is 300. Now 300 is twice 150. Now this works for any right angle triangle, it doesn't matter. So let me just draw another triangle. So the first length, I made it 250, right? So imagine this with VG, I made it 250. And then the other side, I made it 500. And you can see that the angle heading back to the vertex, heading back to V, is still the same. So it doesn't matter what length you use for VG. What matters is that you make GC twice times VG. Now where VC I hope I didn't confuse it. Where VC cuts the parabola, we're calling it point E. So in order to find the focus, you simply draw a line parallel to GC. You draw a line parallel to GC that cuts VO or V0. And where those two lines intersect, that is the focus. So our focus point is called F. F is the focus. That's how you find the focus for any parabola. You have to draw a right angle triangle. One of the sides has to be twice the length of the original side. So in this case, VG was 150 and GC was 300 or is 300. And then we simply drew a line from C back to V and where it cut the parabola at E, we drew a parallel line to GC and that gave us the focus. Now let's get the directrix. Now, the distance from the vertex to the directrix is the same distance from the vertex to the focus. The distance from the vertex to the directrix is the same distance from the vertex to the focus. So once you have the focus, all you need to do is measure the distance and use that same distance to establish the directrix. And I've done that here and I've labeled the directrix D, D, as you can see. And in a, a short while, I will change the layer from construction line to an outline, but that's it. It's that simple. That's how you find the focus. You do your right angle triangle, get VG, 
draw GC double the length of VG, whatever it is, wherever GC cuts the parabola, draw a parallel line, a line parallel to GC, and where it cuts the bisecting line in the center, that is the focus. Once you have the focus, you then take the distance of VF or vertex to focus, whatever that distance is, that is also the distance of the directrix. I hope you learned something today. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And in our future video, we're going to learn how to draw a tangent to a parabola from an external point. How to draw a tangent to a parabola from any given external point. All right, so thank you very much. And if you need to review the video, please do so.